for the men's 200 meters. Schneeberger of Switzerland on the inside, Saidi and Dure of Norway in two, Mullings Jamaica in three, Martina from the Dutch Antilles in four, Bailey USA in five, Blake Jamaica in six, Spearman USA in seven, and the X-Man Xavier Carter of the USA on the outside. So this is Mark Schneeberger running their relay team. They actually adorn the programme, they're so proud of the fact they finished fourth in the European Championships and I think, I was trying to say earlier on, they had a few close calls, they couldn't quite spit it out, that's what I meant. Schneeberger on the inside, 20.61 this year. Well, Saidi and Dury went off to Barcelona with very high hopes in both the 100 and the 200. They could only finish sixth and fifth respectively, could in a better event. Had a bit better in London the other day. Steve Mullings. I haven't seen too much of him on the circuit this year. The Jamaican who has served a pretty serious drugs ban that uh, pretty strict rules about performances in the Diamond League. Chirandi Martina of the Dutch Antilles. 20.08 this year, new personal best and uh, start becoming some really good form. Ryan Bailey was fourth in London. Again, another man making advances in 2010, 20.7. And Johan Blake, well, he really does fall into that category, doesn't he? 19.78, first time under 20 seconds, smashed his personal best in Monaco, had another good run in the 100, with another personal best in the shorter sprint distance last week. Wallace Spearman, well, he's the man in the box seat, as they say. He's leading the points race because no Walter Dix here. Dix, well, he pretty much just had to turn up here, but he has a torn hamstring, not able to compete. He's leading this diamond race in the 200. Well, he had an unassailable lead, but now Spearman, with, uh, he's only got five points, but Blake, Martina, even Carter could win this tonight. Eight points up for grabs for the win. As I said earlier, four and two for second and third. And if the results went his way, he could walk off with a diamond trophy. And two or three others might have to fall. But nonetheless, every prospect of a good race here. I think it's Blake that everyone's looking forward to watching here in lane six. And Will Spearman is the man with the points in the bag, as it were. Blake's the exciting sprinter of the moment, just 20 years of age. Ryan Bailey inside him as well in five. And then Martina in four. So Spearman is very much there to be shot at in lane seven. Blake got a terrible start in lane six. Spearman gets away well, and inside Blake Ryan Bailey's had a cracking bend as well. And also Steve Mullings of Jamaica in lane three. And as they come round the bend now, Blake starting to come back into it in six. And Spearman's got a lot of work to do because it's Blake and Bailey. But here comes Spearman, and Spearman's flying through. Will he get there? Spearman wins it on the line ahead of Blake. 19.79. Stunning performance from Spearman in the home straight. It was absolutely nowhere. New meeting record. Of course, not the quickest in the world this year. That belongs to you know who, who's not here anymore, Usain Bolt. But that is the season's best and one of the best runs we've seen from Spearman for a long time. He was pushed all the way by Blake. He gets better and better. Consistency coming into his performances as well, but that was pretty special from Wallace Spearman. 19.79. Well, it wasn't that fascinating, a race of so many different acts, if you like. As you said, Blake didn't get a great start there in yellow. Spearman much better, and he's not a great starter, Spearman. He's a 200-meter specialist. For example, last week in London, Spearman was only seventh in the 100, and then uh, won the 200 meters the next day. But Blake here, you think with 70 to go, has got it. And then Spearman thinks, no, you don't, son, this is my territory. There he is, nearer the camera. It's all a figure. Glide through. Works hard for it, mind you. Both of them have run very quick there. 1979 for Spearman. That's a, a massive new uh, season's best. And a meeting record to boot. That's quite something yet again in Lexington. And Steve, with the not most marginal of following wins, that really is a pretty special run. 
Yeah, it, you know, Spearman is one of those guys who's always had the ability, always had the talent, he's picked up medals and course at World Championships. And, well, he's in a tough event, isn't he, with Bolt and, and Gay, but he's definitely best of the rest. And that proved it there tonight, and he wasn't going to let those youngsters, Blake and Bailey, get ahead of him. Personal best for Bailey in third, 20.1. Blake continues to look very, very good indeed, 19.86, but the winner, 19.79. New meeting record here in 